here we have some space we are safe here as you can see but if you go here to test here you can make a short circuit here we have two colors as you can see okay this color and this color so this color basically is for the ground and this here this is isolation here as you can see we have a very thin lines or buses this is basically for control signals or enable signals so these lines as you can see can hold a very small voltage like one volt for example or 0.9 volts for the clock or enable but for this it can hold 3.3 volt or even 5 volt in this video i'm going to show you step by step how to track and follow signals in order to troubleshoot the failure in any motherboard so let's get started so we're gonna see basically four motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding how to track and follow signals so let's begin with the first motherboard so as you can see here we have many lines with different sizes okay many lines with different sizes so when you find a, a bolded line means the current is high is increased and when you find a very thin line means there is just a small current and small voltage of course pass through it so for example here we have some lines these lines basically are bolded it can hold 5 volt 3 volts 7 volts etc so as you can see these points here in the right are connected to the point in the left as you can see because we have the bus connect these two points so to be sure we can use just the multimeter we can choose just to continue with the option as you can see or the buzzer option so always to test the continuity you should choose the buzzer option or the continuity option so let's check right now the resistance of this line normally we should if we use the multimeter between these two points we should get a low resistance as you can see in the multimeter we get about zero on the multimeter means these two points are connected together so let's check the second points as you can see also we get a low resistance so these two lines are serviceable no cutted line here okay so this is very easy but we go in to see more advanced things just continue with me please we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more PCB way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project and if you don't like to work a lot with a soldering iron they can even assemble your PCBs for you that's the PCB way now back to the video so for example for this point as you can see here we can find the other point as you can see just we can follow the path as you can see and this is it so this point here and this here should be connected together because we follow the path we should get a low resistance in the multimeter so let's check as you can see we have a low resistance in the multimeter means these two parts are connected together why because just we follow the path the line here Okay, so if we have 5 volt in this point, we should get 5 volt also in this point. So here, as you can see, we have other points that is connected to this integrated circuit. So here I will show you a tips, a, a trick that you can use in order to avoid damaging the circuit. Here we have an IC. If we want, for example, to check between the step, to test this IC in these two pins okay if we go directly to ic pins we can make a short circuit 
so we should use the extensions this pin here as you can see is here connected to this point and the second pin is connected to this point here so i can just check between this point without going directly to the ic you can make a short circuit and then damage the ic okay that's why you should always use extensions as you can see just follow the paths for example here we have more space here but if we test directly in the ic we can do a short circuit so do you see here lines as you can see these lines always there is a difference in terms of size or thickness so this line for example is a bolded line it can hold even 19 volt and here as you can see this large path here is for the ground when you find a very large path means for the ground so let's see this board also i'm going to show you four boards mini boards in order to go deeper into understanding how to track voltages so basically this is a switch mode power supply motherboard as you can see here for example this is the ground okay this is the ground here so you can determine the kind or the type of the bus is it the ground is it for data is it for power just using your intelligence if the bus is very bold means the bus is the ground so let's check another motherboard here as you can see basically this motherboard we have this is basically the processor here do you see the buses here the buses are thin all these buses basically are for data and control signals here we have a very bolded as you can see bus this can hold even 30 volts or 20 volts okay in accordance with the type of the board as you can see this bus goes to capacitors this is filtering capacitors and also goes to diode here do you see so this is this bus is for power and those here are for control signals and here as you can see this is ground automatically this is ground okay the large path is always for ground okay so this is for ground so here as i told you before you should, if you try to test or to check the ic here directly in its spin out you can damage it you should use extensions as you can see always use extensions okay instead of take measurement directly into ic pin out pins you should use extension so here basically we have these holes here these holes here means this board is not is um a multi boards there are multi there are multi boards integrated with each, uh, each other this is basically a multi boards here okay as you can see it can be three four five boards or more that's why you find these holes always when you find this like these holes means this is a multi boards as you can see we have also ho holes here so let's see right now another motherboard always the same working principle here the large path is for the ground so here for example this is a bolded line here this line can hold a very high power okay so basically this is a switch mode power supply here we have even 115 volts this can hold 115 volts so here as you can see this is basic, basically a laptop motherboard of course for the laptop motherboard the voltages are very small okay i have just do the high voltage can be 19 volts or 20 volts that's why you will find usually a thin buses as you can see here we have a thin buses the buses that can hold one volt two volt three volts okay because the high power basically in the laptop motherboard can be 20 volts or 19 volts okay as you can see here basically this is for data and control signals and here as you can see we have this bolted lines those can be for 19 volts okay can be for 19 volts as you can see 
those can be for 19 volts, 12 volt, and those for to control signals, it can be 3.3 volts. Okay, and of course, here we have the ground. This is the ground, the large path is for the ground. Here, as you can see, we have a bolded line here in the laptop motherboard. This is basically 19 volts. This is for 19 volts, as you can see. So if we follow this path, as you can see, it should be goes directly, as you can see, to the charge IC. This is basically the charge IC here. Means 19 volts, because 19 volts begins with the charge IC. That's why we have a bolded line here. Okay, so the size of any bus or line in any motherboard means the voltage means the amount of voltages and basically here as you can see we have a very thin buses this can be 0.9 volts 0.5 volt this is basically enable signals and control signals we have another circuit board the same working principle we have tracks or paths as you can see over here okay let's use the multimeter uh, i will show you another example so this is our example here this point here as you can see is connected to this one also connected to this one also connected to this one over here and to this also connected also to this one and connected also to this one so how using the same working principle here basically do you see this part here this tick part okay means this is the ground all this part are ground and over here we have signals like enable signals like a low voltage one volt two volt etc okay so this part as you can see this term terminal belong to this part as you can see this one also belong to this part but this one no you see this is a separate path this one no as you can see this is also a separate part if we go for example to this one no it is separated but this one and this one belongs to the same path this one also belong to the same path this one no here we have another area as you can see so this one as you can see belong to the same path as you can see this one also and over here this one also belong to the same path okay the thick path as you can see okay so this is how you can follow signals and voltages okay i hope that you understand a little bit what i'm seeing